In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. And welcome to our Mass here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Church. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. We begin our Mass this morning by asking God to grant us his blessings and his healing in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We offer glory and praise to our God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may we, your people, exult forever and look forward with confidence to the day of our resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death. But God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouths of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine upon us. us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, Lord let, let your face, face shine upon us. us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know Him 
is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus had made himself known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and he said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. And then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He said to them, Thus it is written that Christ would suffer from the dead and would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the resurrection of our Lord is presented to us today in three different contexts. In the first reading, the resurrection of our Lord is presented in the context of God. This is the God who is timeless. This is the God who created the world. This is the God, as the reading says, of Abraham and Isaac and of Jacob. He was the God of all their fathers. And Jesus is presented as the son of that God, the outflowing of that God. And so when you realize that Jesus is part of the life of God and know how timeless God is, then resurrection really doesn't become such a terrifying event. It's just a natural part of the life of God. And then in the gospel, we have a little change where Jesus is presenting the resurrection kind of proving that it was him. He said to them, he said, why are you startled and terrified? And then he said, look at my hands and come and look at my feet and know that a ghost does not have flesh and bones like I do. 
and then to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost, he said, give me something to eat. And they gave him some baked fish and he ate it in front of them. And then their fear and their terror went away and they were exalted and they were joyful. And then the final presentation of the resurrection comes after that. When Jesus said to them, didn't you understand all of the things that I taught you about the Old Testament? Didn't you understand? And then he went on to explain to them about the law of Moses the law of the prophets, and the law of the Psalms, which were the three main laws of the Old Testament. And I would love to have listened in on that conversation. Like I'd love to have listened in on the conversation when Jesus was explaining to the two men on the way to Emmaus everything that was referenced to him in the Old Testament. But just to give you some examples, the prophets wrote that when he comes, he will be born of a virgin. Boy, that should put a full stop right there. And he, he, he would be born in Bethlehem. And the saying about Bethlehem was, Bethlehem, O oh Bethlehem, did anything ever good come out of Bethlehem? And then the prophets wrote, the blind will see and the lame will walk and the dead will be raised. Remember when John the Baptist was in jail and he sent out word to Jesus, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? Jesus responded and said, go tell John, that the blind see, the lame walk, and the dead are raised. And so the raising of Lazarus from the dead was, yes, for the sake of Lazarus, but it also had connotations to the prophecies of the Old Testament. And the miracles that Jesus performed were performed for the good of the people, but also to show that Jesus was fulfilling the prophecies of the Old Testament. And finally, there was this prophecy that said, he will be led like a lamb to a slaughter, but in three days he will rise again. And sure enough, Christ was crucified, and on the third day he rose from the dead. And so, my dear friends, you see that the resurrection was not just an isolated event that took place on the first Easter Sunday. The resurrection was part of God's plan all the way along. And what's great for us is that the resurrection is part of God's plan for us. We experience resurrection when we experience God alive in our life today. When I said, good morning, God, and take me by the hand this day. When I ask God to help me to do various things. Tonight, when I thank God for being with me this day. That is experiencing the resurrection. That is experiencing God alive in our lives. And then we can look forward to a life, an eternal life with God in heaven. So death or the death of others is not something we ever fear, but is something that we look forward to and give thanks to God for. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God.
the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray that we may see the resurrection in the context of God, who is timeless. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Moses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may understand resurrection as a normal part of the eternal life of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may experience the resurrection as God is with us today and not just a future happening, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not fear death or the death of others, but realize their continued life and happiness in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your intentions. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers and our thoughts. We ask you to hear our prayers and grant the needs we prayed for through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Fulfilling your will and winning for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands 
as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and reveal the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as in one voice we pray. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of your sins. Do this in memory of me. As we accept the forgiveness and salvation of God, let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are the children of God. We pray to our Father. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray that by celebrating this Eucharist, we may experience your presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.